Hey y'all, so today I opened and closed, but I did not forget the request that was made to show what clamps to clamp. I want you guys to pay attention. Um, I do it a couple times so you can see how I do it. I tried to slow down. I also um, did it at a different angle towards the end. So you just watch how I, um, I clamp as I go. Again, I clamp as I go. Artie, Arteria, the red is going on the dialyzer. Arteria chamber, clamp, the tail, clamp, the transducer line. the T line in don't clamp the R tier I clamp the tail of the sailing line I leave the main saline line open. Then I spike my saline bag. And I continue to leave the main saline line open. I do this for priming purposes to help prime the arterial line. See? Um in training <laughs> they did it a different way but i personally didn't like that way because um i tried to do that but then let's say if you're short staff um all that goes out the window for me not every single thing but as far as it pertains to i need to make sure my lines are primed and have no air in them I learned um, the way that best fits me to do that because um, my first year, I struggled very, <laughs> I don't even know the word, I just struggled um, with air in my lines. No one really taught me and was like, oh, do it this way or whatever. I mean, they basically let me do it the way I was taught in training. But I had to learn um, the lines for myself outside of just what they had taught me. Sailing line is open, remember. Open sailing line. Close tail. I clamped the arterial. My venous line, the big clamp, is unclamped. That's the tail. That's the transducer is clamped. My arterial transducer is clamped. The heparin line is clamped. The saline tail, I call it, is clamped. And now I take a step back just to look and make sure it's priming properly. So in this one, I slowed it down for those of us who need a little bit slower. Because I know me. It is important for me to clamp as I go. So that's why you'll see me do that. And I do that every time I set up a machine. I began doing that. Um, I don't even remember when, but 
it's helped me thus far, especially like I said, during like a rough, doing a, a super fast changeover, like when you just don't have time. Um, clamp to be trying to remember, did I clamp this? Did I clamp that? Like, no. Practice clamping as you go so that you don't miss a clamp so that your transducer isn't wedged, which sometimes you can have faulty lines. So that can cause your transducer to get wet or you, you I mean, it's possible to still miss a clamp regardless, but practice um, clamping as you go.
so here I'm getting ready to prime. So I'm setting my machine to 150, my blood pump to 150. And as y'all see, I tried to press the prime button, but it doesn't work unless it's in rinse. So boom, now my blood pump is going and I am assisting the prime at the beginning um, just to get some more air out of my lines um, because air is a beast to get out. Um, especially if you already got blood that doesn't touch the dialyzer. So you just want to make sure you get all the air out. So I just squeeze it a little bit while it's priming my venous chamber. And here I give you guys another angle closer to the dialyzer, closer to my saline bucket. Um, on the venous side because the other two were on the arterial side just so you can see all angles um, as best as I can because I am the camera woman <laughs> so uh, as best as I can but I wanted to give y'all another angle just so you can see what it looks like on the other side um, as well in case you feel like you missed something um, you might be able to see it better at this angle. So I hope that this video has really helped you guys um, learn what to clamp and how to clamp and where to clamp. As you see, I'm holding the transducer line for my arterial chamber. Transducer lines are very important to clamp because if they are left open, it will have you will have a wet transducer, and you're gonna be trying to figure out how the heck did this happen. Um, which it happens to the best of us. It happens new. If you've been doing this a week, a year, a bunch of years, things happen. So just make sure you <laughs> definitely make sure your transducer lines are clamped. As you see, I'm even making sure my, my venous tail clamp. Um, transducer venous, venous transducer line clamped. As I go, as I'm, as I go. The goal, I know this is a repetitive video, but I don't care. I want you to do it as you go. Um, and you won't forget much as you do it as you go. You see my venous, my big clamp, my big venous clamp is left open because the venous, venous is primed by the pump and the arterial is primed by gravity. So that is what's happening. So now I'm going to clamp my arterial and feel my arterial chamber with the arterial tail. And then I'm gonna clamp it back. Now, set my blood pump to 150 and prime. So it's now primed. Now I marry. My venous and my arterial lines together. See that? Venus is still clamped. I mean, unclamped. Jesus. Venus is still unclamped. Arterial is clamped. Gonna connect them together. Unclamped as soon as I connect. Now they're both unclamped. Gotta get situated so y'all can see. Now I fill my venous chamber. If you don't marry your lines and unclamp both, you won't be able to fill it. Bye!